Hello students, so let's try to go for next section of the book Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by DJ Griffith. We have covered already up to section 1.4 of the chapter 1. The chapter 1 is all about the wave function. The name of chapter is actually wave function. So in this section 1.5, there is discussion about the momentum. So obviously we know from the expectation value of x is defined in section in earlier section is basically that is minus infinity to plus infinity x mod xt whole square dx. So this is nothing but the expectation value of x. In this section, it is beautifully proved that m into time derivative of expectation value of x is given by minus infinity to plus infinity psi star minus ih cut del upon del x psi dx. So from here, we can easily figure it out. This is nothing but the classical momentum. And from here, we can have classical momentum px can be defined as minus ih cut del upon del x. So this is nothing but the momentum operator. In this book, you can just go through all the all the section and it, the derivation is wonderful and you can do it with yourself. But we have to use this particular concept of the momentum. So the momentum operator can be defined as minus IHK del upon del X. And once we have any variable or any dynamical variable, let's say it is function of X and PX. And if we want to take the expectation value of x, this particular thing, then what we have to do, we have to just go for psi star, q is the dynamical variable, and this can be function of x and px, psi dx. And what we have to do, we have to integrate it from minus infinity to plus infinity. But what we have to do, we have to just change this momentum operator in a position variable. So what we can write, we can write this thing as minus infinity to plus infinity psi star q x minus i h cut del upon del x psi. So this is the expectation value of the dynamical variable q, which can be function of position and momentum. So in this chapter, we have basically these concept. The most important concept is all about the formation of momentum operator. And on to this basis, we have to just go for some basic problem into of, of this particular section 1.5 into next video. Thank you.